Hello, my name is Nathan and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a plasma TV in Blender. This may not be the most practical tutorial, but... Ah, oh, stupid thing. It's useful to know. No. Yes, today you are going to be using your default cube. Now, just switch into that mode, um, click the green, and move, um, I don't know, I think, uh, 0 0.5, no, um, 0 0.05 will be alright for this, and, um, now switch this to, uh, 0 0.5. And then you have your basic screen. What you're gonna do is no, I think that's still too thick, so just uh, 0 0.5 to that again. Now what you're gonna do is um, shift D. Now click uh, X no Y and um, 0. Point, um, 005. Then, could you make a single user? No. Get the one on the front. Um, and go shading, um, color. Um, I think the most common color used on a TV is somewhere around the light, really light blue color. And then, second, just do a little bit of light green. And Tiny bit of green tin. Now put ray mirror on a little bit and boost resolution up to about 0 0.8. Then switch in the shaders. You go um, emit to 0 0.1. And yes, that should be right. Now Space add mesh cube. Now go down and um zero point um one five. Then same here um zero point one five. Then put us to zero point two five. Now. Switch back into this mode. Click here and um, then 0 0.25. Move it back. Now, um, click here, add mesh cube. Now, this is um, basically the same thing um, except 0 point, um, 0.1. No, that's not good. Um, 0 0.08. Then, yeah, now go, um, 0 0.25, and top way is 0 0.25. Now, um, click to this, move it back about, um, 0 0.25. No, um, 0.1. And um, yes, that's really good. Now, shift D. And move it on the Y axis. Um, 0.25. No, 0 0.5. Um, no, how about we make it, um, negative 5. Oh, um, minus, um, 0 0.05, so just move it, I mean, instead of moving 50, move it 45. Now, just do space and mesh. Um, you can do a plane or a cube, whatever, to make the wall work, and just do it with a cube. Now make this, um, 0 0.03. And then here, move it about two. To always do it about one 
point three. Then you're going to move this back, as you, know, you may not have guessed. Um, zero point six zero. Oh. Yes, that is good. Now, um, yes, that is about it for it. But first, um, the radiosity. Now, click B and select all of your meshes. And um, wait a minute. This might be a little better if I put something underneath to just to demonstrate the effect. Space add mesh plane. Um, minus one. Uh, minus zero point five. Uh, this will have to do for now. And um, uh, two. One point three. No, I'm um, under that. Um, one point five. Good enough. Um, I'll just size it up manually. And um, yes, and then you move this over here, and basically just up to meet it. No. Yes, you're still in radio. I'll say press B and drag it over and click the meshes. Now I'll go um, click meshes, then click go. And you may notice it does this thing where it sets up all the lights. And um, if you want to take the time, you can make a border around TV, which is, well, it might be quite useful. But you see what this does is it basically creates the lighting for a flat screen TV. And, um, it looks a little bit better with a black border around the side, so you can see that it's not just a plain white thing, which um, I have at one stage made. Um, I'll just show you something first. Um, where is it? Where is it? Uh, now, what I have here is a full room, and I'm going to switch into shaded. Now, I'm just going to do mesh collection. That is, yes, that is everything. Oh, and I haven't really got the fish tank working right. I don't know why, but it doesn't seem to work. Now, if I go into scenery, radio, and click meshes, then click go. It might, this is a slightly more complex thing, so it might take a little longer. Just wait while it just measures every single possible pixel at and vertice a hundred times over. And so if you do it right, you can end up with something a little like this. And um, if you want to move the meshes around, just click. Um, free radio data, and we'll just go back to this. But yeah, now thank you for watching this tutorial.